Live from Los Angeles, welcome back to Good Morning La La Land. Taki Gold is in the house and he's making your war beautiful today. Oh, I love our jackets. Look how fabulous. Those are, are amazing. amazing. Yes. I, I love that you consider this a wearable crown. And the reason behind that is so incredibly inspiring. So would you mind sharing your story with us? Yes. Uh, first, thank you for the show. I mean, if, if church was like this, I would go. <laughs> <laughs> so, so thank you. I was, I was backstage watching. Just, just thank you, thank you, thank you. It means a lot, especially right now, what's happening with the world. But these crowns, um, okay, so six years old, I was a child of war in, in Liberia, and I constantly saw men force girls on their backs. And um, I vowed if I ever survived, and I laughed at myself, I'm like, you're not gonna survive. But anyway, so I vowed if I ever survived that war, I would vow to redesign God to a girl just so the world doesn't miss out on the value of women. And also um, we can crown them to the highest level. That's why I chose girl God instead of goddess. And who was the first girl God in your life? Oh, um, Frances, she's gonna hate me. Um, <laughs> she's, um, she's my sister. She was 13 and I was six when, when we were both in the war together. And she was, she was my shield and she, she protected my mind like the most of all. So I, this is her brand actually. That's that's her name. Oh, yeah. Wow. Yeah. So she was my god through all of that. Wow. It's this an is important so time in history and it's fascinating that you turn that from not thinking, poor me, I went and lived in the war and all this traumatic stuff that happened to turning it and making a difference in the world. It's pretty profound. What got you there? Was there some work or just straight up God or what was that for you? Um, I was blessed throughout the war. I was the the only boy in a group of all women. Hmm. So that's why I'm really pretty. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, they think I'm pretty, so I think I'm pretty. Um, so it was me and it was about 11 to 12 women and they just turned war into art. So that's, I mean, that's the play on those jackets. Um, and they just said, like, war, it had to be beautiful because I was in it. Wow. So, and, um, and the, whole, the whole vision of God is God gets to see the entire, like, the entire picture. Mm -hmm. like, not just steps, not just a bad day, the entire picture. And they just knew what we were becoming was just magical if we got out. <laughs> <laughs> and, yeah. you know. Do you well, remember the very day you got out? Yes. Uh, yeah, I did. Um, I was on the airplane and I asked for Coke. And so the flight from Liberia to here is probably like a day. Mm. And I drank Coke the entire <laughs> Like imagine three years yeah. in the war mm. as a child and like the first time you have Coke is on the airplane. Yeah. And uh -oh. then- What did like, it taste like to you? I don't even know. <laughs> I mean, and then um, they were like, I think you've had enough. And my, my sister looked at the stewardess like, like, you should get him Coke as much as he wants. You know? oh. I have no idea what this kid been through. So that's why I remember actually just Coke. Wow. Yeah, but I'm, not, I'm not trying to like promote it. it, it, it <laughs> no, no, but historically it's represent, yeah. re represented freedom and happiness. Yeah. And the fact that yeah. you, as such a young child, the first thing you wanted to taste was that freedom and that yeah. happiness. It wasn't about the Coke. I think my youth, again, I think I think my childhood, just by the fact that I wanted to just be a child, because for three years, I mm. I just couldn't, mm. right? I, I wouldn't have survived if I was a child. Mm -hmm. So what is your mission now with Girl God? What is your vision? Well, um, amazing story. There was uh, one night I was sitting down with my sister and we're looking at the moon. And what's, what's beautiful about Africa is even though during the war it was tragic, at night it's like this, the stars still came out for us. Mm. And um, so we're looking at the moon and I was like, I wonder what a kid on the other side of the moon is doing. And she goes, the same thing you're doing. And I had a chip on my shoulder. I was like, well, is there a war in America? And she goes, no. And I'm like, well, he's not doing the same thing. And she, she kind of told me, she said that, um, don't ever put your war above anybody else's. Okay. And she goes, they have wars in their rooms too, Taki. And that right there just con connected everything. So, so these crowns are just, um, we all have our own personal wars that we go through. 
and it's no different than mine. Right. And um, so this is not um, an empowering thing. It's just me saying that I recognize your power, mm. like the fullness of it. And on, in these jackets, it's all mistakes because I do it all by hand. So there's nothing perfect on it, but it looks amazing because that's who we are, mm -hmm. right? We are all mistakes, but we're just magical that way. Mm -hmm. So I just, my, um, the, the mission is this, is just for us to just live full because it's easier to believe in a God than to be one. Mm. Mm. So true. I, I love that you talked about it because we talked a little bit about addiction and recovery earlier. And I truly believe that that the greatest war we ever face is the war within and the war of getting our mind right, right. And connecting and, and your art is so beautiful. And just knowing that this is, you know, no one else in the world has this jacket, right? Uh, That's the beauty of, of your art. That's the beauty of who you are and how each and every one of us are. So thank you so much for helping so many women feel like. Thank you. Thank you. The goddesses, the gods that they are. Oh, are. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I yeah. forgot. Yes, yeah, thank you. Thank it, you so much. It reminds me of that quote, nature's first green is gold. Mm. What does gold mean to you? There's gold on this jacket. You are gold. You're wearing gold. Mm. Uh, gold. It's, um, I, I outline all of the crowns with gold because I just, we never lose value. Gold has never lost its value. So just a reminder, like no matter mm. our personal wars that we're going through, we never lose value in it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so there's, there's amazing meaning. And this is all due to those women that, that like, poured all of their greatness in me. Mm -hmm. I laugh every time because it's all them. Right, well, you're yeah. clearly a conduit for truth, love, and all the above. Yeah, so thank absolutely. you so much. Tell people where they can find these fabulous jackets. Um, GirlGodGlobal.com. All right. Wow. Thank you. Thank you thank for you so all much. of your time, thank for you. all of your life. We are Good Morning La La Land, America's first live streaming daily talk show. We meet you live Monday through Friday at 9 a.m. On Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter, all of these interviews are available as a podcast on iTunes, and the full replay of the show is now on demand at EverTalk TV, available on Apple TV. We are waking up the world together. Please like, share, comment, and have a beautiful Thought Thursday. It's going to be a good morning, La La Land.